Hello, guys and gals, me Mudahar, and continuing the tradition of this week where we cover games that, frankly, uh, I used to play a lot as a kid. I wanted to take a little nostalgic ride back to the past and play some of those older video games that I used to play the ever-loving hell out of. And I showed you Counter-Strike 2D because Counter-Strike 2D is one of those games I legit played a lot of because, frankly, again, it was the only way I could really get a form of Counter-Strike for free with an active player base that, you know, I, I, I didn't know how to fucking, I didn't know how to get the game the other way, okay? So, you know, don't, don't blame me for it. But then I got X-Gen Studios up over here, right here. This is a site where I think a lot of people people my age, you know, when we were kids, we probably know about them, okay, it's probably like up there with mini clips or some shit, you know, the one game with the 3D snowball tossing, or the other game where you're playing as George Bush and you're fucking blowing shit up, or like killing terrorists in the White House or whatever, you know, it, games like that, I, th I think we all know what I'm talking about, if you don't, you know, it it's, might be a little meme that's a little older for the, old, for the older crowd, but here's X-Gen Studios, ladies and gentlemen, the, the team that made a Stick RPG. Oh, yeah. For those of you who don't know what Stick RPG is, Stick RPG is basically a game where you run around and uh, you, you, you progress through corporate lifestyles. You, you, you can gamble, you can smoke cigarettes, and do all that fancy adult shit. But I'm going to go to the originals. Because the originals are where this shit is at, and I'm gonna click on Stick RPG Complete, the game that started it all for X Gen Studios. Oh, let's hit play, ladies and gentlemen. Now it's got a whole bunch of stuff over here. All right, I don't really care. I'm gonna hit up uh, play. Oh, god, that is so nostalgic to hear. Holy crap! So here we got a new game. Now you can play it short, medium, long, or unlimited. We're gonna do unlimited because really I'm just gonna show you some some of the shit that I used to do in this game. Uh, create create a new game. I don't know, roll again. Well, that's just rolling my stats. All right, let's uh, roll my stats. You know what? Actually, give me a fuck ton metric shit ton of intelligence. Okay, how about that? How about you make me a fucking weak pussy, but I got some moderate charm, but I'm as smart as all hell. Okay, and what, what should I even, what should I, what should I e even, even call my name? St Stickman Jones or something like that. There, I can't go, so it's Stickman Joe, all right? That's as far as we can go. Oh my god, this sounds so nostalgic. I love, I love this week. All right, here we go. We got it. We got a stick figure with like the most scrawny ass stick figure arms and shit. And then he's got the question mark. And then our story begins, ladies and gentlemen. I love how back then this is like the only story you needed for a fucking Flash game. Still to this day, that's the only story you need. And, uh, and we land. Ladies and gentlemen, it's even got that little fucking blue line, alright? It's got all the originals! Oh my god! Hey man, do you have any smokes? I'm old enough to smoke, I just, uh, forgot my ID at home, please! No, I can't get you some. I love how the smokes in the game have, like, a giant skull face right over here, so maybe it's like Skillington cigarettes or some shit like that. But we can go to the bank, we can get a loan, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but it must be repaid within 15 days or we getting our legs fucking broken. Let me tell you right fucking now, okay? Uh, we can go to this company, which, like, back in the day, you can, like, apply to the job, but I need better intelligence, so I need to, like, study and shit. But back then, I remember I would grind the ever-loving hell out of this game by going to college. Here- here's how fucked up my situation went. Let me show you my daily routine, by the way, okay? In this game. So you start out, and in the morning you have, like, this day-night cycle, I guess you could say, so certain events are only triggered, like, at a certain point in time. So what I would do is, if I can just remember, I would go to make sticks, I would work, and I would work until the day is like that, right? So I'd make like 72 dolans. And then I remember, I was so into the game, right, that I made like my character have like a little bit of a life, so I ended up getting some smokes, all right? Maybe some caffeine pills, you know, so I could work a little longer. And then I would go over here, I would actually have a skateboard that I would purchase in the game too. If I can actually get the skateboard, that might be interesting. Just to, just to see, uh, just to see if I can get it. Like, if I go to the pawn shop, I know over here. Yeah, I can get like a gun, I can get a cell phone, I can get a knife, dude. But where do I get the, uh... Oh, there's the casino where, like, I never went over there because I didn't want to gamble and stuff like that. Because I was going to lose my hard-earned money. So I'd never do that, but you can go over here, get yourself a beer, which is like 20 charms. I would actually do a little bit of beer, like I would drink some beer, and then like, what's this guy? Oh, could you spare some change? I, I, I can't just give ten dollars, man. I got ninety-seven left, dude. I spent more than I fucking earned today. God damn it! All right, there. This is not gonna be a good. Then I used to go over here. I used to like, I used to smoke up, and that would increase my charm. But as you can see, it slowly almost makes my heart burst and shit. Like cigarettes in this world really uh, kill a person, is what what I'm saying. So that that was one thing, and then I would like go back to my home, right? What is this? Fine uh, line furnishings? Oh, I can get like a snooze bed and stuff. That's interesting. That'll heal me the f up. Uh, what is this? Someone has carelessly left their car unlocked and out on the grass. 
Oh, okay, I can't hotwire it. I actually have to be smart. It was probably one of the weirdest things I might have actually done, like, as a kid. Because, like, usually as a kid, you're just playing fucking games to play games. I treated this like it was goddamn life. Alright, there we go. I got a janitor life. Now I got, like, 40, uh, now I gotta work for, like, you know, like, I, got, I gotta get 40 intellect points before I even go anywhere higher. So, like, no matter what you do, you're always dumb as shit when you actually start this game or something. And a lot of it, again, is just a grind, you know? It's it's basically what it is. Like, you can actually go to the bank, get a fucking student loan, get a nice job and try to pay it back. That's one of the ways you can play it. It's like one of those games where it's like so many different ways you can actually play the game that it's almost mind-boggling how, like, well done it really is. So basically the only way I'm playing this right now is I'm making the money and then I'm gonna go binge school and then I'm gonna come back. So again, no matter what you do, it's almost like you play life in a very different way. And it's staggeringly shocking how close it might be to the real thing. And it's got that whole comedic touch to it, which, you know, almost makes you laugh as you play it. I mean, thank God there's no requirement for food or anything, or else, like, whoo, would I be spooked, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you. I wouldn't, I, I would really have to stick to my old routine. And I stuck to that routine so hard that as a kid, you have so much time to play games on your computer because you don't have, like, responsibilities, right? So, like, I, I would have sat there, like, for, like, two hours legit. And I would have maxed out. That was before I think the game ever had like a save file system. So like I would always end up having to do it again. Here we go. I got 40 intelligence, which means I can go to the aptitude test and actually get a promotion. So wouldn't that be something if getting a promotion was like that in real life? So let me ask for a promotion. I'm a mailroom clerk, so now I make a bit more dolans than a standard janitor. And that's the thing. You keep on grinding up the corporate chain. And sometimes you don't have to grind up the corporate chain. Sometimes you can buy a gun. You can hotwire. Can I hotwire the car, for example? No, I, I'm still stupid enough, I can't hotwire the car, so, you know. Let's buy a handgun, dude. Let's buy a handgun and a fucking knife, alright, there you go. What's this guy want? Cocaine, I totally forgot! Dude, you wanna get some dope fly shit? I'm telling you, man. You can make fat stacks off this bonafide, purified, 100% Colombian product. Oh my god, yes! Wait, let me go over here, what's this guy want? Funky Town, 5 -0. so yeah, this is basically where I got all my cigarettes and shit from. Okay, so I got the gun. Alright, what do I do with the gun? I totally forgot what I actually have to do with the gun, unfortunately. Uh, let me go over here and get myself a milkshake. Alright, and then go back and see if I can get myself into one more bar fight. Oh no, it doesn't affect me, really? But it does increase my- I think it increased my strength, though, so... You know, I, I can fuck with that, let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, right here. It's the most depressing fight, by the way, too. I must say, this has to be the most depressing shit I've ever done in a fight. All right, let's go over here and bar gradient one more punch and there you go I beat him so far. It was negative one for a second. Oh wow So like fighting the dude that'll increase my strength anyways, okay. All right. No, I, I can do that So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go and take a fucking loan out and shit. I'm gonna go I'm gonna oh buy real estate. Oh, yeah, sweet So I didn't remember you could buy a house you could buy like a bigger apartment You could even get a castle and then if you up get a castle you can get more shit for it That's really sweet dude. Wait, can I go in here and just like get a loan and stuff? There's a maximum of a thousand day, a thousand dolans. Oh, dude, hell yeah, give me a thousand dollars. Fuck, dude. Took a loan that I have no intentions of paying back, ladies and gentlemen. Totally gonna get my face fucking caved in. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy some coke from this lad. I'm gonna buy two grams of cocaine. That's a commodity. To so, like, now that I have the coke, I'm trying to wonder. Oh wait, ammo? Hell yeah, let me get stocked up, boy. Alright, there you go. There you go. Let me get stock. Actually, you know what? Let me work my job for a little bit and then come back and buy uh buy by the by the cell phone. That's gonna be very helpful. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to Las Vegas. Oh wait, I can't. What the fuck? Buses leave first thing in the morning. No! Okay, I have to like literally get there early as fuck. Actually, let me take some caffeine pills. Rob the place? I'll do that when I get back from Vegas. How about that? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I bought an alarm clock. I actually bought caffeine pills, so apparently I woke up with a full fucking day, ladies and gentlemen. So I got 339 bucks in my pocket. I've actually ended up in jail because I tried to rob the fucking uh, convenience store, but I didn't have enough charm. I'll show you how that works, by the way. Let me actually get a ticket over here. You get off the bus and walk the streets from Las Vegas. You come across a dark alley and hear noises from behind. Three large cats attack you from all sides, leaving you unconscious. <laughs> when you're a dumpster, the passing bum raids your wallet and stash. You're weak as a little ca Oh man, no! No, the bum took my cocaine! I'm so fucking poor in the game, though! No. 
I'm like legit fucking dead. I have nothing to my name. I totally forgot. So like the way it works is obviously when you're getting a job, you have to have intellect, right? That's what the whole uh, thing is. But like, I totally forgot. It's like, I thought there was like a Dope Wars type game, but there frankly wasn't. So it's like, what essentially just happened over here was I lost every single penny that I had to my whole fucking name because I just didn't have enough of the charm stat. Oh, fuck me up, dude. Charm or strength, actually, hold on. Yeah, I have like, wait, no charm. Yeah, no strength, okay? No charm or strength. I was like actually screwed. My net worth is 851 right now. I gotta pay back these fucking loans. Otherwise, I'm gonna get my fucking- You know what? I'm gonna do an honest man's thing. I've tried- I've tried fucking around too much. I've tried robbing stuff. I've tried selling crack. Clearly my- my frail little body can't handle it, but I have six days to fucking pay off a thousand bucks. Which I ain't getting paid off, let me tell you that. But I wonder what happens. They just kill you? Or something like that? Is that how serious loans go in the stick RPG universe? I mean, I don't make bad money. Like, every day I'm making, like, what, 280? That's like... I mean, I do work my whole fucking day, but, you know, you get the point. Okay, so 10,050... Oh, not 10,000, 1,050. This is 10 grand that I had to pay back? Man, I just fucking Alt F4 right here. Alright, 720, 720. I'm making good money. I'm making good. Alright, let's, uh, let, let's see what really happens by the end. Ladies and gentlemen, I worked so much in my life that I died. I died in the game of chronic chronic heart failure. Apparently, I think that's what it was. I had 1,260 bucks to my name. I had zero dollars in my bank. I, I, I paid back my loans, but I ended the game with $172 net worth. I, you know what? I think, in all things considered, for a goofy, dumb video, I did pretty all right for myself. But the point is, ladies and gentlemen, that was, uh, that was Stick RPG. I'm gonna end it over here. Moral of the story, ladies and gentlemen, is that was Stick RPG. Complete, by the way. Uh, interesting game. I do urge a lot of people here to play it if you haven't already. There's a lot of other games I can really look into. I think I do like these, uh, videos for a bit, just because I like going back to the whole nostalgic style. But, I'm gonna end the video over here. It's been going long on enough. I think we've seen enough, uh, sticks and RPGs, and, uh, I think this video Video is complete, so if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just like it if you dislike it. This is me, Mudahar, and I am out.